Hello folks, this is Aitan Ajha from InspireToRise.com and you always thought why is your video editor so slow? Why is the video editing experience not seamless? Why am not I getting a really fast rendering experience? Why does the Premiere Pro export take so much time? So all of these questions and a lot more questions are going to be answered in today's video. Stay tuned for it. So what happens in the life of a general video content creator? We shoot videos, we straight away edit videos and then we get a lot of time wasted in the rendering process, wasted in the process to apply effects and everything. Isn't there something to just decrease this overall time taken? So I would now tell you why is your video editing experience so slow? What happens with most of us is that we use digital SLR cameras or mobile phone cameras or any other cameras which record your videos in a H.264 format. This is a format which is basically for web delivery. This is a format used for MP4 files or other files. Even .mov containers have H.264 video codec wherein the video has been encoded with this codec and then you get a final video file. There are benefits as well as disadvantages to using a H.264 video codec. The biggest benefit is that you get low size. But the worst case scenario is that because of that low size, your CPU has to work a lot in order to encode, render or decode the H.264 video. What happens more often than not is that in a H.264 video, you have one single frame which has all of the image data. For example, this video right now, it has all of the image data in that one single frame. And the next 23 or 24 frames would be predicted on the basis of what the first frame had, the overall information in the picture for the first frame. That was the base information and then on the basis of that base information the video encoder gives the CPU instructions that yes this thing moved, this hand moved here, this hand moved here and all of those calculations are done by the CPU. So this is a kind of editing which is known as CPU intensive editing. When you edit directly on H.264 files, MOV files or you encode directly from MP4 files, what happens is that your CPU has to work extra hard in order to encode and render that final video. But, 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 I have recently switched to Final Cut Pro X. I saw that the video editing experience and rendering experience was really fast. I tried to decode it. Why was it so fast? Why? What is happening behind that software that's making it so fast? So I was able to determine that there are two things. Firstly, they do background rendering. When you are editing your video, the video is being rendered in the background itself. That means that while you are simultaneously editing the video, a final footage is being developed, which is a master copy. It's not a web delivery copy. It's a master copy, which is in ProRes format. So this is my second point that you need to edit in a lossless format, in a format which has all of the still images. For example, if you have 24 frames per second video, then the 24 frames are still images. So that means that your video would have really huge size. But then when you edit that video, it won't be CPU intensive. It would be IO intensive. IO is input output. So that's why when you see Apple MacBooks have really great SSDs, really great read write speeds, because what they do is they Transcode your file which is the mp4 or .mov file into a ProRes 422 codec which is a lossless codec and then when you are editing that video is being edited on the ProRes lossless codec. So that's why the video editing experience is only dependent upon the bandwidth of the internal devices, the bandwidth of the RAM, of the SSD, how much data they are being able to transfer and not dependent upon the calculations done by CPU to predict the next frames and that's why you can also incorporate this very same video editing workflow into your normal day-to-day -day life all you need is a fast input output so I would suggest that have an SSD or a RAID array while you are editing your videos and then what you need is a no even a normal CPU would work fine in this kind of editing now what you need to do is whenever you shoot your videos just take that MOV or MP4 footage and transcode it into a lossless format that can be Apple ProRes Apple ProRes 422 it can be DNX HD that is a format which is a lossless format once you transcode it to a lossless format and then you you edit your video the overall experience would be really smooth and the time taken to process the final video and generate the final video clip would be really less so this is how you edit your videos 
without wasting time and in this process you would save tons and tons of time while editing your videos though the overall transcoding process can be a little lengthy when you are dealing with a lot of files but still this is one of those practices which makes really a lot of sense when you are editing and working on really huge projects which have really huge files so if you are editing in a 4k video shot in mp4 which has a h.264 codec versus you are editing something which is in 4k prores 422 422 is the newer version of the prores codec which is slightly compressed but still it has lossless quality and if you are editing in something like that then the editing experience would definitely be really different on the prores version as opposed to something which is being predicted by the cpu so guys this was it for this short video i hope that you know how video editors work now and how the load is being divided into the cpu as well as the input output if you are going to follow this input output extensive approach i suggest that you have a large storage which is really fast something like a huge ssd or a raid array and you have lots of ram because that would help you while editing or transcoding or just scrubbing through your footage so guys, this was it for this video. In case you like this one, don't forget to smash that thumbs up button. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more awesome, informative videos like this. This is Aritana Chha from InspireToRise.com. Signing off folks, stay inspired to rise.